All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to mass rename images in a Mac OS X. Uh, I'm currently using 10.14.16, also known as Mojave. So I just wanted to kind of show you how this is done. Now, it works in pretty much any version I've used. Um, the last three or four versions, so I'm pretty sure it'll apply to all of those. But I know for sure it works in Mojave because I'm doing it right now. So the first thing you need to do is um, get all of your files that you want to rename into one place. Uh, I put them in a folder um, together. And as you can see, they kind of have this standard image file number that you'll get out of uh, pretty much any digital camera that you use, any modern digital camera. It might say IMG, it might say DSC, um, but generally they, they follow a number format so that you know um, when they were taken. Um, it also has a date stamp on newer cameras. So if, um, what I, one of the things I like to do is actually sort by the date especially when I'm doing pictures, so that when I upload these, I know that they're in sequential order. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do, uh, take out any doubles, especially pictures, any duplicates, things you don't like. Um, just leave yourself with the ones you want to keep, and then hit Command-A to select all the files. You'll see it selected. At the bottom it says 108 out of 108. So I have them all selected. And then you're gonna right click or control click depending on how your Mac is set up. Um, sometimes it's the wide two fingers, sometimes it's the bottom right corner, and then you can always control click no matter what the setting is. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna right click on the selection and I should say new folder with selection 108. Uh, that number 108 is a number of files. So you know you have them all selected and didn't actually just select one. So I'm going to click rename 108 items. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can replace text. Say you want to keep the numbers and you just want to replace that IMG at the beginning. You can do that. You can add some text to it. So if you want to just add something to the end. Um, on some DSLRs, you can actually make the DSLR have a specific file name. So instead of like IMG, you could put your initials or um, any kind of shortened uh, like abbreviation or acronym relevant to what you're doing, your business or whatever. Um, but I'm going to do format because I don't want to keep any of it. And being that is I have already sorted, I might have some numbers that are out of sequence. So I don't want to just replace the IMG. I am going to rename the complete file. So I'm going to go uh, under format. There's some options. There's name and index. There is name and counter. And there is name and date. Um, the date obviously is really long. So I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, counter is a really nice option. It'll give you your custom format, whatever's in this box. And then it'll start with whatever number you have over here. And then it'll actually put four or five, let's see, four leading zeros. So if you have a set of photos that's a really high volume, um, you may want to use this just because some computers are uh, will sort oddly. Where if you have the number one, it'll look at that first digit and then it'll find all the numbers with that and then sort like that. So it might be one and then 10, then 11, then 12 then all the way up to 19 and then it'll skip to 100 and then get through all the hundreds through 199 then it'll go 1000 and so it's kind of an awkward thing so if you want to make sure they're in the right order uh, name and counter might be right for you just depends what kind of system you're planning on loading these in later for us name and index works um, and I like to put it after the name you can obviously put it before or after and here's your example down here. So I'm going to go and change my custom format. And I'm going to name this Hansen 7th period. Because that's what these pictures are of. And then I like to add a space 
a dash, and another space. And if you look down here, you can see the example shows you exactly what the image is going to look like. The file name is going to look like, I'm sorry, once you rename them. And then obviously the number will change based on the file name. So if I take away a space, you notice I have this little, don't have a space there. And I can take that away. So just, it's a personal preference of mine. I like the space dash space. Um, and that's the way I teach my kids to do it. So it's nice and uniform. Um, Make sure there's a space, make sure there's no extra spaces at the end. Then go ahead and click rename. And just like that, you have all the pictures renamed. So I'm going to show you really quick the difference. If I sort by name, um, Macs kind of don't have that issue, but I've seen some programs that do it. So I, uh, if you wanted to, uh, the sorting error was what I was talking about earlier, where you have a 1 and then 10, 11, 12. Um, but the Macs don't seem to have that problem. But if you did want to change it, let me show you. I'm going to go back to rename. I'm going to change it to counter. So you can see those leading zeros and hit rename. And now you see that the numbers actually have those leading zeros at the beginning. And it's also nice to you because the numbers are all the same. Um, unless you go over, you know, 10, or 99,000 pictures, 99,999. So the, the length of it will always be the same and it's nice and uniform. Um, as far if, if that's one of those things that bothers you or you like to see with your stuff, you can do that way. So that's pretty much it on how to mass rename and add a counter at the end.